Switzerland is known as a beautiful country with a lot of things to do and see. You can visit the snow-capped mountains during the winter season, while experiencing the beauty of nature during spring, summer and autumn seasons. The Swiss Alps alone are enough reason why you should visit this country. Here is our list of top 10 places in Switzerland that are worth visiting. Bern is the capital of Switzerland and one of its most beautiful cities. With its medieval feel, it has been dubbed the Pearl of the Alps. It's home to many museums, including the Swiss National Museum and Historical Museum of Bern. You can also spend time wandering through Bern's old town or visiting one of its many cafes or restaurants. If you're looking for an adventure while in Bern, take advantage of all that nature has to offer by hiking through one of its many parks or catching a boat ride on Lake Thun which sits just north. Luzon is a city in central Switzerland, with a population of about 80,000 people. It's famous for its medieval old town and the lakefront which you can see from many vantage points around town, but it also has an impressive history that dates back to Roman times. Luzon was once part of the Roman Empire. Later it became part of the Carolingian Empire before being absorbed into what would become Switzerland in 1291. The city itself was founded as early as 850 CE by Germanic tribesmen who settled along Lake Luzon after migrating south from Scandinavia and their language still survives today. Today's population speaks German or Swiss German dialects natively. English speakers will find themselves able to get by just fine here too. Lake Geneva is the largest lake in Switzerland and one of the most beautiful. It is also the deepest lake in the Alps, with a maximum depth of 635 meters 2087 ft, the second largest body of water in Western Europe after Lake Constance. Lake Geneva covers an area of 22 sqkm 8, 5 sqmi and has a shoreline length of 129 km 80 mi. Lake Geneva has a long history as a popular tourist destination because it offers visitors many things to see and do, culture, food drink, history heritage along with outdoor activities such as boating sailing, hiking cycling, water skiing wakeboarding, swimming at one of its many beaches or simply relaxing on its shores while enjoying stunning views across its surface or up into its high mountainside cliffs, Zurich is the largest city in Switzerland, it's also known as a financial center. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, this is the place for you. Zurich has lots of museums, architecture and nightlife options. If you're looking to visit Switzerland but only have one weekend free, then Zurich may be the perfect choice for your trip because it has so much to offer without being too overwhelming or expensive it's actually quite affordable. Interlaken is a town in the Swiss Alps, located at an altitude of 1,620 meters 5,310 ft above sea level. It's a popular tourist destination and an important railway junction for trains from Bern to Lauterbrunnen or Grindelwald via Wengen slash and T. Kempnerhorn slash Uferjock via Claim Shaded. Interlaken can be reached by car via two major routes, one through Breen's Oberhasli Valley Mountain Road, another through Bernese Highlands via Bernese Oberland Railway Line. Andermatt is a town in the canton of Uri, Switzerland, at an elevation of 1,463 m 4,831 ft above sea level. It is a popular tourist destination because of its position in the center of the Staba Falls and for its views over Lake Luzon. The town has about 5,300 inhabitants and an area of 23 km 29 sq mi. Andermatt offers many outdoor activities such as hiking or skiing on Pizal Mountain nearby. The Rhine Falls are the largest waterfall in Europe and one of the most impressive sites in Switzerland. They are located on the Rhine River in Schaffhausen, Switzerland. The falls measure a whopping 2,400 feet wide and 187 feet high 73 meters wide by 55 meters high. The Rhine Falls were declared UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986 due to their natural beauty and geological significance as well as their historical importance as one of Europe's oldest hydroelectric plants built between 1,800 1882-1887. Mount Pilatus is the highest mountain in central Switzerland and one of the most famous tourist destinations in the country. It's located about an hour from Luzon, so if you're spending time there, it's worth checking out. The views from Mount Pilatus are some of the most breathtaking in all of Europe, a stunning panorama stretching across Lake Luzon with snow-capped peaks in every direction. You can hike up to its summit or take a cable car, and if you're feeling adventurous, try paragliding down. The summit is 1,707 meters above sea level. If you want to see more mountains as well as lakes and cities below them like Zurich or Bern take a helicopter ride. Matterhorn, also known as the Roof of Europe, is a mountain in the Pennine Alps on the border between Switzerland and Italy. 
The 4478 M14691 FT Peak is part of the Monte Rosa Massif and overlooks the town of Zermatt in the canton of Valais. Matterhorn has been pictured on countless postcards and posters since it was first photographed in 1858 by Lord Francis Douglas. Around 5 million people visit Zermatt each year. It's one of Switzerland's most popular tourist destinations for good reason. Its stunning scenery, excellent skiing conditions and proximity to other alpine destinations make for an ideal vacation spot regardless if you're looking for adventure or relaxation. Switzerland is a beautiful country with many interesting places to visit. There are many different types of activities to do in Switzerland, whether you're looking for an adventure or just want to relax while taking in the scenery. It's also a good place for vacation because it has so much to offer. We hope that this list of the 10 best places to visit in Switzerland has inspired you to plan your next trip, whether it's a day trip or an extended vacation. There's something for everyone on our list. And if you're looking for more inspiration, check out our guides on where to go in Europe and other parts of the world as well.